In this video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate the contour interval if it's not given to you on a topographic map. So on most topographic maps, they're gonna give you the contour interval, which is just the change in elevation from one contour line to the next. Sometimes you're gonna to have to calculate it yourself, and that's why I'm making this video. So first step you're gonna do is you're gonna find the two elevations that they do give you. They're gonna give you two elevations, and what I want you to first do is subtract. So we're gonna do 200, minus 40, which equals 160 meters. I got the 200 from that thick index contour line, and then at the bottom we have our 40 meters. So we did 200 minus 40 equals 160 meters. Next, we need to count how many spaces or how many times we jump from one contour line to the next. So starting at the bottom line, we have 40 meters jumping up once, twice, three times, and four times. So we made four jumps or there's four gaps um, in between these contour lines. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take that 160, so 160, divide that by how many spaces there were. So there were four spaces. 160 divided by four equals 40 and that's gonna be 40 meters. So what this means, our contour interval is 40 meters. So every time we make one jump from one core line, contour line to the next, it's 40 meters. So we have 40, 80, 120, 160, and then 200.